What is up YouTube? So for this week, I am going to be doing a fitness challenge. I'm going to be doing a hundred pull-ups and a hundred push-ups every single day for a week. I want to see how yet I can get in a week. I've taken, so I was a competitive powerlifter. I've taken a lot of time off and I'm ready to get my back gains back. And also, I would love, love, love to improve my pull-up game. Um, push-ups I've always been pretty good at because I've had like a strong bench. So like in one go at like the end of a workout, I could do 50 push-ups in a row without stopping. And so, but pull-ups, I've never been able to get over 10 consecutively. So I'm like, I am pumped for this. I'm ready to like increase my pull-up game. I lost some weight, so it should be easier, hopefully, but also some of that weight was muscle weight. Um, but let's see the first physique, what we are working with. Okay, here it is. Yes. Got some nice trap action, some triceps, ooh, ooh, yes. Look at the chest muscles, ooh, yes. <laughs> my, uh, my traps have always been massive, but they have shrunk a lot since I haven't been like consecutively like benching and deadlifting and squatting. That will definitely like get your traps yet. Um, all right, so that's the first physique, what we're starting with. And in a week, I will show you the results. <laughs> so let's get into the first day of 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups. Let's get it. Hey. All right, I'm thinking game plan is go in sets of five or maybe three quick. Um, Let's see how many I can get done. So let's start up. Two, three, quick break. break. Sugar. We just hit 24 pull-ups. We're a quarter of the way through. Yes. Halfway through pull-ups, I'm now going to eat some brunch, lunch. What's that word that's like in between dinner and lunch? Cause it's like 3.30 and I'm about to eat. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat and then I'll do the rest of the 50 push or pull-ups and then we got 100 push-ups. We can get it done. I did 50 push-ups in about, or 50 pull-ups in about, 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Not too bad, honestly. All right, food time. 
Look at this freaking delicious meal. I've got some carrots, beans, peas, rice, avocado, green beans, and chicken with some salt and pepper and parmesan. So I'm about to eat this up and then we're gonna get back into the polyps. Okay, so I just hit 80 pull-ups. I am now going to switch to push-ups because I need to give my pulling a break. I'm like, now it's even hard to do um, sets of three. So I'm going to see how many pull-ups or push-ups. <laughs> I'm gonna get those confused so many times in this <laughs> video. Um, but I'm going to be seeing how many push-ups I can do in a row and just try to crank out the 100. I feel like it's not gonna be as hard as the pull-ups because like I said, I'm like decent at push-ups, but I also haven't like benched in a while, so it may get difficult, but let's get into it. Let's see what I can do. Come on, chest muscles. Also curious to see how the pull-ups affect these, so let's get into it. Pull up. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. First fifteen, not so bad. I feel like I'm gonna do like, let's see, if I did sets of ten, that'd be ten sets. Thirty, sixty, ninety, one hundred. So if I did fifteen. It would be four, four and a half sets, basically. So maybe I'll do that.
97 push-ups. I have three more, but I couldn't do it anymore. No! Three more till 100. I have three more pull-ups and three more push-ups until I hit 100 for both. Yes! And it's only been like two hours. <laughs> Ready for me to finish Monday? Here we go. 100 push-up and 100 pull-up challenge. Um, I am so freaking sore this morning. I'm just like, I had to do a big stretch um, routine to just like get some blood flow in my muscles again. I'm just like, I am cooked. So today should be very interesting. It's going to hurt, but let's start this thing out. It's probably like one o'clock right now. So I started a little later than I wanted to, but I was like slow moving this morning just to like, my body just needed that time to like chill out and get some blood flow in it. And yeah, so let's get this thing cranked out because I don't want to be doing pull-ups and push-ups all day. Okay, let's get into it. First pull-up of the day. <laughs> Wish me luck. Alright, I just hit 12 pull-ups and I'm now taking a break for push-ups because it's gonna be a long day. Those first 12, like, I, I'm already over it. <laughs> so we're gonna move on to something else real quick Why I am being a little pouty biatch. <laughs> so let's uh, do about 15, see how these feel. push-ups and I'm on 45 pull-ups and I'm so tired. I ate and I just had the hugest energy crash. I just want a nap. Why did I do this to myself? <sighs> no. Oh, 
push-ups are done for the day. Ugh. Help me. Ah, why did I do this to myself? So it is day three of doing a hundred pull-ups and push-ups for a week. I will say it is technically day five. I might have taken two days off, but my body, like, let me tell you. So just from my experience, like of lifting and everything, my body was like I would have gone injured if I would have done it the third day because I was getting into the like overtraining aspect like my muscles everything was hurting um I was in a horrible mood like my I could just feel my energy and mood totally depleted which are signs of overtraining and I'm like you know this is for a video and it's not worth risking my like health and getting injured to complete this. So I took two days rest. I feel good today. So we are going to continue on. And that this is a huge PSA. Like if you are working out and your body does not feel right, just stop. Like it's not worth it to injure yourself because then you're going to have a longer period of time where you're not going to be working out. So if you like feel just off and your body doesn't feel right just put down the weights put down whatever you're doing go home take a bubble bath um work out your muscles use that day to stretch eat good food hydrate 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 and just take care of your body and health doesn't always mean you know working out health can also mean taking a rest day so with that being said let's get into the third day of doing 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups let's go baby oh shit these are feeling good Today, 
Now we have, I'm at 40 pull-ups, so we're almost there, baby. Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the, all the way. For the record. Okay, guys, it is day five, four of the uh, pull ups and push ups. So I am so tired today. Ugh. Fingers crossed I can get it done today, but. We are doing rough. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> this reminds me of um, the Superstar movie where she's like, <laughs> God, type of love, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, let's get into this because I am not feeling it, so we should just get started. But I'm not sore anymore, so. The body is adapting. I have been looking yet. So, we love that. Yes, yes. Jack the Big, yes. Ain't trying to link no time to wish. So y'all, snake eyes on dice for y'all, shoulders on ice for y'all. A6 all the hay, I won't get a ball today. Got lost in the ball and A's. I'm flipping the balls, I'm flipping the f all record, all record. I still count wins when they got it. All record, all record. I let them take advantage. I was wallet. All record, all record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. All record, all record. I still want the act, not the ghost. Try and make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wish. So 
about I'm trying to be more mindful to really keep my lats engaged and not let my shoulders roll and my neck muscles do all the work which I've noticed like I had been doing I haven't been as like conscious about it so it's definitely making them harder because it's putting all of the um, like work in the lats but you know, we got to keep our body safe and not injure ourselves and strain our neck muscles. So really engage and keep it there and don't go. So yeah, that's the goal for today with these 100 pull-ups. Off record, I still count wins when they got it. On record, off record, I let them take advantage. I was wildin'. On record, off record deals. Tell them talk to Colin for the quote. On record, off record, I still want to act, not the ghost. For the record. Don't try and make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to go down the stone for you. For the record, lab on me going all the way. day six of the pull-up push-up challenge we are almost done one more day to go after today we can do this so let's get into it and i'll speed up for you because you know you've seen so many push-ups and pulls right now so let's crank it out off record i still count wins when they got it on record off record i let them take advantage i was wilding on record off record deals tell them talk to Colin for the quote on Record off, record I still want to act, not the ghost. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to go down the stone for you. For the record, lab on me. We are at 52, halfway through. These are actually feeling so freaking good and going so fast. Um, I still have all my push ups left to do, but. We are halfway through pull-ups. We are getting strong. I have noticed that like, as I'm doing this challenge, like each day it gets easier and easier because my body is adapting. But I'm like surprised at how fast my body is adapting to these pull-ups and like how fast it's getting easier as we go on. So look at us go. Also, I think my biceps have like <laughs> been the biggest improvement on growth, which I always struggle with like my bicep growth. That's always the thing that like, no matter how many curls I do, they just don't grow. So maybe all I need to be doing was some pull-ups. Strangers were 
90 pull-ups. 10 more. So let's get into the last 10 elements. I'm so excited. Push-ups done. Ah, I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. day seven the last day of the challenge I am so excited for this to be over um honestly I've enjoyed it but also it was like it's a lot <laughs> um, I will do a full recap after I crank out these 100 push-ups and 100 pull-ups so let's get into it We just hit 96, four more pull-ups to go. day anymore we finish the challenge for the pull-up portion I still have a hundred push-ups to go and then it is done yes 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 yes, yes. <laughs> let's see how fast I can crank these out because I want to be done Twenty-five done. <laughs> Let's go.
I am done with the challenge. Oh my God, this was so long, but we did it. We did it. I'm so excited to be done with this challenge. Now, after I catch my breath, we will get into the full details and the after posing. All right, y'all, so the verdict on this challenge is I definitely didn't do it in a full week, like I know the title says, and like I said at the very beginning, but 100 pull-ups to do without like any bands or anything is pretty dang um, difficult and hard on your body. Like I would have overtrained, hurt myself probably, so. Between each day, I took about a day or two to rest and then go back into it. Definitely be careful. Do not overtrain yourself um, because it's more important to build your muscle than to get injured. So like I know there are some programs out there and some lifters that will be like, oh, I squatted every day and that's how I got my squat strong and stuff like that. But it's not really healthy to train a specific muscle every single day. Um, so yeah, so I definitely took a day or two to rest between each day. I tried the very first couple of days to do it like each day in a row and it just, it was not a good idea. I was not enjoying it. My body like hurt so bad and I definitely like when you start to overtrain, like I've said like in this video, you get super moody and like it's just, it's not a fun time. So I definitely noticed though as I progressed through doing this challenge, it got easier and easier. So it just shows you that you don't have to do something every single day to get better at it. It's okay to like, oh, maybe do it once a week or instead of doing 100 pull-ups and 100 push-ups, do you start at like 10 and then you add a pull-up every other day or five pull-ups every other day depending on your fitness level with pull-ups and also, you can do a band, so doing banded pull-ups instead of um, body weight. So then you can do 100 pull-ups every day. It, that would definitely have made this a lot easier and probably if I had done banded pull-ups, I would have been able to do it every single day because it wouldn't have worked my muscles as much, but I wanted to see like just me doing it, how long it would take me, how my body would adapt, and my body definitely adapted pretty well. Like. I've been getting through these way easier than when I first started this even though I've taken those like days off and I can tell like since doing it my chest muscles are like getting more defined again my back muscles are definitely getting more defined again so the way to get better at something is to do it so this was kind of just an excuse to like see if I can get my pull-up game a lot stronger and the muscle that I noticed that like got the most effect from this was my biceps and triceps. Like I think the triceps are from the push-ups and then the pull-ups because I did it this way mostly instead of this way. It used a lot of my bicep for pulling power and I honestly struggle so much with growing my biceps so I just needed to be doing pull-ups instead of curls. Like who knew? <laughs> um, but let's get into seeing how my back looks.
One thing I also noticed, my abs actually got worked pretty well from this and I think it's the stabilizing from the push-ups or from the pull-ups. So that was a nice little bonus to get my abs worked out from doing pull-ups and push-ups. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what challenge you would like me to try next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!